hey guys it's bacana here my window is open just the slightest bit so you may hear some police sirens some people are talk some music i play i'm gonna make this video as quick as possible and just touch on some things that have been happening in my life some questions that i've been getting from you guys and hopefully you know it will lay to rest some of these persistent questions some of them are bad um none of them are bad to be honest so let's get right into it i do however want to say this first thing i've come to the understanding that a lot of people don't know how to pronounce my name when they see the b-i-c-a-n-a -A. some people may think it's bianca but it's not bianca it's bicana my name is bicana it was meant to be bianca mommy had a last minute realization <laughs> and it became Bicana instead of Bianca. So if you see me, Anna Bianca. If you type it, Anna Bianca. It's Bicana. Now, one of the questions that I do get a lot has to do with the house in Trelawney. That house is still being built. Like, we did not just, like, completely scratch it. However, mommy wants to be there when they're doing certain parts of the house. And we are at the decking part now. I'm going to be putting over some videos. It's been a very, very long time and I can't wait to get back to house building videos in Jamaica. And trust me, it's coming sooner than later. You, you wouldn't even believe, but things have to be put in place. And she wants to be there when they're doing certain things. So it's just going to have to be on a pause. And rightfully so. A lot of you guys are building homes in Jamaica and you know the process. And if you know I'm building and I have family or friends that are building and you know how stressful it can be from buying the materials having the materials delivered making sure that the materials stay where they're meant to be at i.e like not stolen or misappropriated um also the trust in the workman and the trust in your family and people that you leave in charge is kind of hard and when i was in jamaica i didn't have time to always be down there and observe so it just kind of went to the wayside i hope that's the right way of saying it and unfortunately some things happened that weren't supposed to happen and you know you end up have to spend more money and it just it's not a good look so that's what's going on with the house um as you can see like it, it's gonna be beautiful the area is beautiful like the drawing is good the land is great and I can't wait to get back on track with those videos with that series and let me know if you have any questions that I can you know hopefully in the future meet up with some architects or some builders or just anybody in that realm just drop the questions down below and I'll put it together in a video but I do want to do a completely separate video on like the building process closer to like you know when at least the, the ground floor of the house is finished so that is that it is just shelved for right now but it's not finished we'll be back to it sooner than later the next thing and I know a lot of people are curious about this but there's nothing that I really want to go into detail about with this next topic um, it's my relationship and you know unfortunately we're no longer together. Um, I don't know what the future holds. I can't say things. I don't want to come back to this video and then people are like, see, me tell you, me tell you. No, I, I just, it's done. It's done. We grew apart. Like, there's no, like, terribly bad energy between us. We don't communicate anymore. So I don't feel right um, sharing, you know, just the deepness of the relationship or what happened between it just know that we are not in a relationship anymore and i'd really appreciate it if you guys would stop asking me about him um he was in some of my videos a lot of my videos actually and i know like when you get close to somebody you're curious as to how they're doing and where they're at and you're not seeing them anymore but like if i don't show you somebody in the video like guys just take the hint like it's not that we're not friends i'm not talking about the relationship i'm talking about no my friendship and my cousins um it's not that we're not close cousins or we're not close friends anymore or you don't see my mom like what's going on with her i'm so grateful that you guys do ask about the people that you've come to know through my vlogs like it 
is amazing like you know like that's a different type of connection right there but when it comes to like romantic relationships yeah we did you did see a lot we did share a lot but we're no longer together and uh, i'm not at the stage in that part to talk about it and i don't think it's respectful to speak on any part of it really especially when it's not like um, like a Ted a round table talk with Jada and said person is here and we are have discussions and we are share with the world it's, it's not that it's not that kind of relationship anymore and yeah so it is over I don't know what to say I'm just sad that um, the people that were brought into it uh, got hurt um, family and friends I apologize like I, I didn't want anybody to be dragged into whatever happened i don't want anybody to feel hurt or feel blamed and a lot of people aren't to blame like the only two people to blame is me and who i was in a relationship with so it's not fair to other people that they got dragged in and it, it just it just got messy so i'm just gonna leave it at that that we are not in a relationship anymore and i'd appreciate it if you stop or not stop but please refrain from asking me about it or about him thank you the next thing now is being a flight attendant i've been a flight attendant for a whopping one year and four months i am so over the moon with emotions both happy and positive because i've been a flight attendant for a good while now like it sounds so like like one year and four months is not a lot when some of these people have been flight attendants for like 40 years 50 years some crazy amount of time so you know it's just <sighs> i'm so grateful to have gone to so many new countries like and that's because of my company i'm working my way there like if i get to go to japan again i'm gonna have to work a 15 hour flight go and come just to be in japan i'm gonna be working it so it's so much fun a lot of companies are hiring right now delta's hiring um I think JetBlue, maybe United. Like, guys, please go on the internet and just type flight attendant applications. Type flight attendant applications in the Caribbean. Type flight attendant applications um, for such, 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 or for Jamaica, or how can I become a flight attendant? One thing I can say is you do not need to go to no flight attendant school. The company provides training. Please do not waste your money and go to a flight attendant school. You don't need that because when you get your um, conditional job offer with whichever airline you apply with, girl, they're going to put you to training and all that money where you spend for a school, flight attendant school, you're going to be very upset because that's the money you're going to be needing to keep yourself afloat during the time that you're at training because some of these trainings are unpaid and if they are paid it's not no walipa money so be very mindful of people that say like they can help you get a flight attendant license a lot of those things are scams please like please do your research there's so many articles there's so many videos there's so many tiktokers now that are sharing content especially for jamaican flight attendant guys please be smart like please do your research google is free TikTok is free. If you're on here watching me, you can look up a video on YouTube as well and watch and get more information about these things. Please use your resources wisely. Now, I've gotten to go to so many countries and I'm really happy. I love Spain. I love Japan. I love London. Like, I didn't know I would love England as much as I did and I love it. Like, that's my that's my home. Um, no, but Japan is definitely my second home and I've been to multiple islands in the Caribbean now. I'm just so grateful. So it's been a lot of fun. If you want a separate flight attendant video, you already know what I'm going to say. Drop some questions down below so I can put it together and answer. Um, for a lot of people in Jamaica, you do need a US citizenship if you're going to, not a citizenship, at least a green card. You need at least a green card if you're going to apply with a U.S. based airline. Now you can apply for Caribbean Airlines, Copa, Emirates, Etihad if they are hiring. So please do your research and see. A lot of those airlines up, um, accept people from different countries and I don't want to say anything that I'm not sure of. Um, but they do 
assist you in getting the certain paperwork that you need but for the US based one you need at least a green card you need to have the ability to work in the United States so take that how you may but that's that I love it and there are down days like there's some days I wake up crying I don't want to go to work I don't want to go there's sometimes I meet people that I'm just like I don't really mesh well with like they're nice I just don't we're not like gonna be this and then there are time when i meet people or i grow friends to this day we still like talk we we travel together my best weekend ever was with uh two flight attendants that i met one i met the day of being in jamaica and now we're so close like we're planning other trips in the future we're sharing you know about each other's lives and how we can grow together and how we can grow individually and if i wasn't a flight attendant i wouldn't have met those people or had those experiences so yeah i'm losing the light right now but i don't know the next thing that i want to talk about i don't know oh yeah i do want to move back to jamaica i america is not for me that same feeling that i felt when i moved back 2019 december 2019 is slowly creeping up on me so i'm doing what i can do to make sure i secure myself so at least by the by summer next year just just keep that in mind so i'm not sharing too much because i don't want to jinx myself and put it out there in the world when i'm not ready yet and like i'm not even ready within myself to, to talk about these things even out loud to myself so just know by summer 2025 i really should be on a better path to like being home and jamaica just made me happy like jamaica made me happy these places are amazing but it's not for me to live in like if it's for you it's for you and what is for you will be for you nobody can take that from you whatever god give you god i give you nobody else yeah so oh my god the light is in my face so sorry about that but yeah so for now i am in new york i am a new york based flight attendant and that's the next thing that i'm trying to think about in my path like would i commute from miami and the miami scene is not for me like i love being based in new york i love the flights from new york like we have some diverse trips and we have diverse people so that's the next thing i have to you know put in like am i gonna commute from way from jamaica to new york like will i try out miami and i just need more research but like i said 2025 summer yeah mana listen i'm i'm really ready to put it down because i will be 29 next year i'm 28 right now and i moved to jamaica when i was 24 like honey <laughs> i'm so serious yeah i'm serious like it's not for me this place is not for me I, I love it and i've tried it but yeah i gotta go home so that is that um I'm so grateful my mom is so smart and so supportive like she's like do not rent anywhere save your money and invest that in your own place and that's exactly what we're doing now so I'm I'm really glad that I waited so I am at home with my mother saving my money because the money that I would be paying in rent I could be paying as my mortgage so I'm just securing my down payment and guys I'm really 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 excited like I want to tell you more but everything happens for a reason like people come in and out in and out of our lives for a reason opportunities come in and out of our lives for a reason and you just have to be there with open arms or be ready to close the door when the door needs to be closed so that is the the update um i've touched on the house i've touched on the relationship i've touched on being a flight attendant and i've touched on where i'm living and where i plan to live and i don't think that there's anything else i'm just a girl in her 20s trying to live her life trying to build herself and secure my future not just for me but for my future generation so I hope I answered what I needed to answer in this video and I really appreciate you guys for sticking around and the last thing I want to touch on those beautiful comments I can't say it enough thank you so much from my family and friends that have had my back that I've shared 
wise words of wisdom with me to you guys my b squad my community my internet besties thank you guys so much for the beautiful messages that you've shared and thank you for being respectful like to us to all of us to, to my family to my friends to what has happened in a relationship again when you grow and when you share so much with the outside world like i would never be the type of person that say like oh you only don't deserve to hear and yes that is true in a sense but i'm not gonna be the one like i've shared this i might as well you know keep it up keep it going so thank you for being respectful in everything that's going on like i love it i i can't i can't even say i can't say anymore so before the camera shuts off by me make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one and i apologize for the bad lighting but thank you I'm filming! Give me one second. Yes. Give me um, this is a bedroom right here. There's a staircase. It's not gonna be this narrow. Um there's more to it than double glass doors opening up to outside. So all of this has to be dumped up, unfortunately. You do not owe anybody anything, so... Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Bye.